So what happens to your YouTube channel when you've been gone three months? Man, February 11th, I go on a project in the Southeast for one week. This turns into another week and another and another, which then takes me to the Barbados, St. Lucia and St. Vincent Islands. My one week trip turns into nearly three months. On the plus side, I got to complete a lifelong goal and epic achievement. Since this was full, 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 full time gig, I not only missed NAB again, but I got to do a little social experiment. What happens to your YouTube channel when you don't feed it? Does it keep going by itself? Does it still make a gain? Does it maintain a normal level? Does it die? Sure, we all know that viewers want content delivered on some predictable schedule. But I wanted to see if over a long period of no posting, would I lose subscribers? Look at this stat here. I roughly gain about 300 subscribers a week. That's 1200 subscribers a month, nearly 15,000 a year. The idea is to increase this amount weekly by posting new content getting active on social media and just continually reaching out to your audience. If we increase this 300 a week to say 500, then we're looking at nearly 24,000 new subscribers a year. That's a big difference. Look at what happened. This channel maintained roughly 300 subscribers per week. Then after a while, it started plummeting. Now it's at about 140 a week, which would add up to about 7,000 a year. If left alone, it would obviously keep going down. Here's what I learned. A channel with a fairly large number of subscribers and a fairly large number of posted videos, I'm over 200 now, will maintain itself for a period of time, but without the care and feeding, in other words, new content, it definitely does peter out over time. YouTube sees no new content and stops showing you as suggested videos and Google starts dropping you in their ratings as your content looks old. This also tells me that posting new content on a regular basis and promoting it is the key to increasing your YouTube channel. Here's a life lesson. With anything in life, you do not want to maintain something at a level rate. You always want an increase. Take money, for example. If you aspire to just make your weekly paycheck and never increase that amount over time, inflation alone will bury you. If you don't constantly improve your competence and skill, others who are doing better than you will blow by you and take opportunities that could have been yours. So always, always, always look to increase what you do, not maintain it at some level. For filmmakers, that means getting better at handling your equipment, learning more all the time, constant practice and doing that results in you becoming better and faster at what you do. And that makes you more valuable. And that means you'll be paid more. Anyway, I'm really happy to be back home. I've got a really cool slider review coming up in the next couple of weeks. And I'm going to be reviewing an excellent new shotgun mic that I'm told will withstand all sorts of abuse. Really? So I'm going to beat the crap out of this thing and we'll see, for example, if I can drive over it with a car, throw it on a dryer and drop it in a pond, just to name a few. It's going to be really fun. Additionally, I'm going to show you how to do multi-camera editing in Premiere Pro and how to do it with a single camera. That will make sense to you when you see it and it will totally up your filmmaker game. Thanks for being a viewer. Thanks for all your support and we'll see you next time.